Messianic prophecy, and New Testament accounts of the passion of Jesus Christ. In these sacred texts, authored centuries apart, prediction and fulfillment have converged to reveal a message for the ages. There is a passage in the Old Testament where God speaks and says, I can declare the end from the beginning. I can predict the future. There is no God like me in all the world. Christianity is the only religion that is based on a hundred prophecies clearly being fulfilled in the life of the founder. It's obvious that these prophecies were intended for us to see the fulfillment in the person of Jesus Christ. That's why they were given in the first place. For 2,000 years, these prophecies have withstood the critical scrutiny of historians and scholars to forge a compelling case that a carpenter from Nazareth was indeed the promised Messiah. Yet the full significance of these predictions extends beyond Christ's suffering and death. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. And after the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone had been rolled away. As they entered, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe. Do not be afraid, he said. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Go. Tell his disciples he's going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Jesus was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. He appeared to Peter, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the crowning moment of the Passion story and the prelude to a host of prophecies yet to be fulfilled. Over 100 prophecies in the Old Testament that predict details about the first coming of Christ. There are 300 prophecies about the second coming of Christ. I think as we look at the prophecies of the Passion and realize that they were fulfilled exactly as God said they would, and that should give us great comfort in knowing that when he says things are yet to happen, they will happen in the way that he stated. He is coming back again. Jesus said, I will come again to receive you unto myself. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive will be caught up with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. There's great hope for us in prophecy. Jesus has died. Salvation has been secured. Jesus has been raised from the dead. The doors of heaven are open. And now we await for his return. But God has already given us substantial evidence by working these things out, by raising him from the dead. We have a great hope to look forward to. During a Passover week in Jerusalem, Jesus' death validated the predictions of the past. Through his resurrection, he confirmed the hope and promise of the future. There is hope, and the hope is in the Messiah that will give us eternal life, and that will never end. There will be no suffering. There will be no tears. There will be no worries uh, for mankind. Everything will be taken care of, and the Lord will see to us that we live with him and he will be our light and he will be our God through eternity. Because he died on that cross, he will come again. The first time he wore a crown of thorns, next time the scripture says he will wear many crowns. The first time he came in that triumphal entry on the back of a donkey and the second coming will come back on a white horse returning as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. 
Do not seal up the words of prophecy, because the time is near. Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me. Whoever is thirsty, let him come, and whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. As history does unfold, and as these future prophecies are fulfilled, we can have confidence as his followers that we'll spend eternity with God forever in perfect harmony. That gives me great confidence about the future. It gives me great peace about the future. And it tells me that as a follower of Jesus Christ, I have nothing to fear about the future. And Jesus said, the Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations. Everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. 